Hello, so today I'm going to be making a card for a male or plumber or anybody in your family you think might like this. It's a uh, All Occasions Robert Adams die, um, which is Pipeworks it's called. And I'm going to be using the cuttle bug and let's make a start. So first of all, I've got my card base here and I'm doing a five by seven and I'm going to open it cut ways like that so I've cut my mat which I'm going to pop on like that a nice piece of coordinating card in red to go on the top before we do that I'm going to emboss the red card using this Sizzix brick die um, so to start with let's pop that to one side Let's get the cuttle bug on the go. Open up the plates, and you will need the base plate. And to put the embossing folder through, we're going to use the two B plates, um, which I haven't got. <laughs> Just grab that. Right, in there. Put the card in. And it's quite tight, so try not to overforce it. Right, let's have a look what we've got here then. As you can see, that's not quite big enough, so I'm going to try and extend it. And to do that, you just turn around the folder and hang a bit of card out the end. Get our base plate back on and our B plate. And we only want to emboss this tiny bit here, so we leave this piece out. So just pop that through like that. Line up the plates. And because I only need to do that a little bit, I'm just going to go... Let's have a look at what we've got now then. There we go. Looks all right to me. And there's the other side of it. So what I'm going to do with that now is just to give it a bit more definition, I'm going to actually use some Inca gold on it. So let's just pop that cuttle bug back over there for the moment. And get our Inca gold out. So I've got one of these little finger thingies just to keep my fingers nice and clean. And there we go. Just to pop makes the bricks work. Just pop. So totally lovely this stuff. Just gently rub it over. Okay. It just brings out all the embossing, all the relief. There we are, that's lovely. Right. So that is actually the gold colour. There. Okay, now just to make that shine, just going to buff it up. I'm just going to take off the excess. There we go. Now the sides, obviously this card is a bit wider than the than the embossing fold. So I'm just going to get my little trimmer off and take some of that off now then. Because I like it to be just right. There we go. There we go. 
have a look at that onto there again. That's how matting they are. Lovely. That fits beautifully. So what I'm going to do now, just stick that down. There's my double-sided tape. There it is. There we go. And I think I'll just put another one down there. Never very exciting watching somebody do double sided tape, but it's a job to be done. There we go, let's just stick that over there a minute. And just pop that into the centre there. Lovely. Now I'm actually going to make mine for Father's Day. But obviously you can choose whatever sentiment you like. So I've stamped one, die cut and mounted it onto black. So I'm just going to gently place it where I think it would look just about right. So that's probably how I'm going to go with the placement. I'm not sticking it down for the moment. I need to cut the actual pipes out themselves. Let's just put one out of the way. Let's get the cuttle bug again. There we go. Right, for this one you're going to need the base plate, the C plate and the B plate. Let's just put mine there. And I'm going with gold. A lovely contrast. Should just turn that over onto there. Mm, that's right. Now I always like to come backwards again when I've got one like this because it does actually do a little bit of embossing on the side. So there we go. Lovely. Pop that away. And let's have a look what we've got. Get my little pokey tool. out again it's uh, because I went through two or three times it's, it's quite tight in there okay poke them all out keep going See, oh. Still quite a few in there. So I don't, I have cut another one of these out already, so I don't need all of these pieces. Just want it to be a few more to make the design look how I want it to look. That little one there. Obviously you can cut this out with whatever colour you want. I've gone with the gold because it contrasted quite nicely with the red that I had. There we go. It's all the different pieces. Lovely. Okay. Sorry about my light reflecting. Right, I'm just going to pop those to one side for the moment. Bring back my card. Let's stick the main body of the card down. Right. Like. Just line it up properly. I always do mine by eye. Doesn't always work, but <laughs> there we go. Sorted. Right. I have cut some other pieces out earlier. And I've cut a few in contrasting blue. These are blue at the moment. These are the ones pieces I wanted to replace with the gold. And I want to keep these little accent pieces in the blue. So I'm just going to get rid of those. Let's have a look then. Um, so it's that one. 
とすごそうね。はい、あ、あ、ごめんね。And where's the other little piece? I wanted to end the little T shaped piece just there. That's it. So that's what I'm going to do my design. So now I've done that, I can move it across onto the main card. Let's have a look. There we are. I'm using pin flare gel.、Um, I find that works pretty well for this kind of thing. Just pop it into a Well used. <laughs> Just pop it into a little syringe or something. Make a start. If I just pop these down first, just to make sure that I have got them in the right place. There we go. That's that. Maybe you could do with pushing it over a little bit more. Oops. Fiddly. Fiddly. There we go. Uh -huh. Not long there, so I think that looks all right. Let's make a start with those then. Oops. The main reason I've used the pin flare is because it will get a really good grip on the embossed card. And don't do that. So, only trouble with pin flare, it does tend to、uh, be very sticky. And it's easy to get it on the top of your card. Right, next. The other thing with pin flare, it does give you a bit of. Open down just to wiggle things around if they're not quite where you want them to be. So, when you do this, if you want a particular design, I would recommend laying it out like I've just done before you stick anything down. Normally, once you're stuck down, that's it. And go, nice piece here. There we go. So, that's looking quite nice at the moment. And I've got these little wheels. Now, these little gizmos here, the little bits and pieces, I've layered them up. So there's actually two in that layer. So it's just slightly thicker. And you can just leave them a bit proud. A little bit more dimension than just sticking them flat. Especially with the pin flare. One. So it's very difficult with the、um, lighting on it. Very difficult to see. Let's remove that. And there's my centre. And I've actually mounted that onto some 3D tape. Again, just to add a little bit more dimension. And I would again put a little bit more pin flare on this because of the embossing and the ink of gold. I think I will probably pop that just there. And there we go. Make sure they're all stuck. Oops. Make sure they're all stuck down flat enough. As I said, you can, you can do these any colour you like. Just I thought that looked rather nice. 
the Father's Day. There we are. Have fun. Happy crafting. Thank you. <laughs>